5G is going to be critical in our ability to tackle climate change. And it's not just 5G. Mobile connectivity, be it 2G, 3G or 4G, is already playing a major part in our ability to understand, monitor and make change to our current and future practices. 5G takes this capability to the next level. Because it is faster, has near instantaneous latency, or what some of us might better relate to as buffering, along with much more capacity than existing technologies, it will become a crucial facilitator to our efforts to tackle climate change. But what does that mean? Well, 5G and mobile connectivity more generally is about connecting people and things. This gives us the ability to generate huge amounts of information and data from sensors, such as air quality, traffic flows, energy usage, water use, or even leakages. Connected drones or other vehicles enable us to do things more efficiently or even to see or study areas not possible at the moment. This allows us to not only understand the world around us much better and our impact on it, but crucially, it gives us the data to not only make changes, but to take action. g is a facilitator technology. This means that it has the ability to help across several sectors by enabling technologies that will improve efficiencies and ultimately reduce carbon and other emissions. Let's take a look at manufacturing. Greenhouse gas emissions from manufacturing in the UK was 60 million tonnes of CO2 equivalent in 2018. This represents 11% of all emissions. Smart manufacturing advancements will bring huge efficiency savings to the industry and with that, an opportunity for substantial greenhouse gas emission reductions. Mobile UK's own analysis suggests that 5G-enabled technology can help the combined G7 manufacturing sectors reduce their total carbon emissions by 1% during the period 2020 to 2035. A reduction of 1% equates to around 182 million tonnes equivalent, or roughly 70% the annual carbon emissions of France. But tackling climate change isn't just about emissions. Wastage of our natural resources is a huge problem, but again, 5G offers the opportunity to manage this. Water loss through leaks in the UK are estimated to equate to 3 billion litres of wastage daily. That's the equivalent of 1,268 Olympic swimming pools. SES Water has been working with 5G-enabled technology that allows it to use sensors that can penetrate deep into the ground and offer wider coverage to help alert immediately so that the company can take action to fix leaks, low pressure, or other abnormalities affecting water supplies. The project has already cut leakage by 15% and is laying the foundations to more than halve it by 2045. In agriculture, 5G is also offering further opportunities to minimize environmental damage. 5G-enabled drones are allowing farmers to improve the precision with which fertilizers, pesticides, or fungicides are applied. This is due to the drone's ability to spray very specific volumes on predefined routes managed by 5G and GPS. This improved efficiency is reducing environmental damage that overuse of pesticides and fertilizers can cause, such as reduced biodiversity and the poisoning of aquatic life when chemicals run off into rivers after rain. The opportunities that 5G can bring about by enhancing and improving mobile connectivity could be vast. However, to realise these benefits, you have to have the networks in place. 5G is being rolled out in the UK at the moment, but mobile networks still face barriers when it comes to building the physical infrastructure. After all, you cannot have a mobile signal, and indeed 5G, unless the infrastructure is in place already. Mobile UK is working with governments, both nationally and across the UK, to bring about reforms to enable mobile operators to build their networks quickly. This includes reforms to the planning system to allow better sharing of infrastructure among mobile operators and opportunities to use existing sites rather than having to build new sites. Additionally, Mobile UK is working with landlords to ensure that mobile masts can be built across the country cost effectively and so that the signal those masts provide can benefit communities across the country. And finally, it is important that people understand the benefits of mobile connectivity, particularly its ability to assist with the need to mitigate climate change. For that reason, Mobile UK set up the 5G Check the Facts campaign, and I urge people who wish to learn more about 5G and mobile connectivity more generally to take a look at Mobile UK's website.